This is the creator of East Pine Design, Amy Evans. Today, she will be sharing with us the journey it took to create the Frico brand. I am the owner of a small business called East Pine Design. So I do graphic design and I produce a lot of merchandise, mostly um, for the Frico brand. Amy Evans created her own window decal and drove it around the town. Hoping that people would ask me where did I get it and what does it mean. When the decals got noticed, people asked when shirts would be made. I took the design, I put it on shirts, and the rest is history. I knew the idea was good from the beginning, but realistically, no. I was not expecting me myself to be able to pull off something that was successful, I guess you would say. For a lot of reasons and mostly because I had never done anything like that. It took a long time for me to have faith in myself that the, the next thing I made would sell just like the thing before. The most helpful person through this whole entire journey has been Amy Ralston that owns Kennedy's Corner. Amy Ralston has given her unbelievable advice and ideas behind retail. And like I came into with no experience, so she's been an enormous support for me. She has also provided Amy Evans with the space for her merchandise. And of course my, my family, my husband and my kids, like they help sort shirts sometimes and my husband's always been really supportive of me. And we live in a small town and I got to see firsthand how amazing that can be because the chamber and the small business organization that we have here, they were all really helpful for me in the beginning when I had a ton of questions and no real idea of what direction to go in. So all of those people. COVID-19 has impacted my business in several ways. So of course, in one way, it negatively affected it in the sense of the lockdown and people not being able to shop. On the flip side, COVID-19 created a situation where my social media reach definitely increased. So I just tried to use what was happening and adjust what I was doing in that way. When you are in retail, you are at a huge disadvantage if people cannot come to your brick and mortar location and shop. So it was definitely a challenge and I, I had to keep myself profitable in that time, which was a real struggle. 